neatly dish cloth for the kitchen cloth. It is a very easy project, beginner friendly and can be completed within a few hours. The materials that you require to make this kitchen cloth are 4 ply acrylic yarn in shade number 29 by a pair of knitting needles of size 4 mm you will also need a yarn needle and a scissor let's get into the video and look at how do we knit this so let us begin by casting on 5 stitches on the knitting needle to cast on first put a slip knot here I'll be using the long tail cast on method. You can use any preferred method of casting on. Since we've already added a slip knot, this stitch here counts as a first stitch in knitting. So we will have to add 4 more stitches. Now we've casted on 5 stitches and we can begin our knitting. As And for the first row, knit these 5 stitches. Now for the second row, let us knit these 5 stitches back. So row 1 and row 2, you knit the 5 stitches that we had casted on. Now for row 3, we need to start increasing the stitch count. And to increase the stitch count, we knit the first two stitches as usual. And for the third stitch, we would be knitting front to back, which means we will first knit from the front loop and without removing the third loop of the left needle, you insert it into the back loop of the third stitch. it again so now you you have two stitches resulting out of the third stitch and then you continue knitting till the end of the row so now we have increased our stitch count by one which means we should now have six stitches on the needle now for the next row we will knit the first three stitches and instead of knitting the fourth stitch we will first do a yarn over and then knit the remaining stitches. So for all the following rows once you have started doing a yarn over, you will have to keep repeating the same process for the rest of the rows. So you knit the first 3 stitches for every row and instead of knitting the 4th stitch, you do a yarn over and then you keep knitting till the end of the row. a few more rows for you.
So now if you see, our pattern has already started developing and you can see the border designs here. So these holes that you see are formed as a result of the yarn over that we do in our fourth stitch. Continue increasing your stitches and doing a yarn over till you have the desired number of stitches on your knitting needle. I would be doing this increase till I have 55 stitches on my needle. And after that I will start decreasing the count. Let me work up some more of this and then I will get back to you. So here I have knitted my fabric till I have a total of 55 stitches along this diagonal. And you can see we have this border neatly coming up. And after having a total of 55 stitches, I have started decreasing my stitch count. And I have left a few stitches here to show you how to decrease. So to begin decreasing, you have to knit the first two stitches of your row. You knit the third and the fourth stitch together. This is also called as knitting two together. And after this, you have to do a yarn over again to keep getting the design along your border. And the fourth and the fifth stitch, you again knit two together. And keep knitting till the end of your row. You knit the first two stitches, the third and the fourth stitch you have to knit together, then you do a yarn over, you knit together stitch number 5 and 6 wherein you insert your knitting needle into both these loops together and then do a yarn over and pull through and you continue knitting till the end of your row. You will keep repeating this process till you have a total of 8 stitches on your needle. So now I have 8 stitches on my knitting needle. Once you have 8 stitches on your knitting needle, for the, for the next row, you repeat the same process. You knit the first 2 stitches, you knit the 3rd and the 4th stitch together. And instead of doing a yarn over as a next step, we will keep knitting till the end of the row. So now we have 7 stitches on our knitting needle. You repeat the same process. Knit the 3rd and the 4th stitch together and keep knitting till the end of the row. Now we have 6 stitches. Keep decreasing from the 8th stitch without doing a yarn over till you have a total of 5 stitches on your knitting needle. And once you have 5 stitches, you knit these 5 stitches for the next row.
for the next row what we can do is we can start casting off because we started our kitchen cloth with casting on five stitches you do a cast off when you again have five stitches left on your needle now we can pull through this yarn tail and then i'll show you how to finish this okay so let me now snip off this yarn tail and then we can weave in our loose ends so here our kitchen cloth is ready number of stitches that you have on your knitting needle let's say here i have taken 55 stitches so this determines the size of my knitting cloth for a stitch count of 55 this is the size that you will get it's approximately 6 inches by 6 inches if you want to make a bigger one you can increase the number of stitches and you can even have it as 60 or 65 To weave in the loose ends, let me take a yarn needle right, and then through the back of these stitches, I just pass my needle. Similar thing for the yarn tail that is left over from the end that we started. Right, so we just pass our needle through these stitches here and pull through. So this is done. If you like this video, please hit the like button and also feel free to share your comments. Thank you.